Hello and welcome to the Commonwealth Youth Games. Four days of competition involving more than a thousand competitors, all under the age of 18, representing 64 countries. As one of the smaller nations, the Isle of Man is the proud host of the fourth tournament, following the previous events in Scotland, Australia and India. It's an island which has a unique and long history in the world of sport. And has enjoyed decades of Commonwealth success. Cycling superstar Mark Cavendish, the latest in a long line of talent. Well, the Isle of Man is very proud to be hosting this event. We have all the nations of the Commonwealth represented here in the Isle of Man all the young people coming here uh, to take part in sports. Young people today are really fantastic and their involvement in sport, music and many different things is something we can all be very proud of. The opening ceremony itself uh, is a big occasion so uh, if the weather's kind, hopefully it will be, um, then you know it will really be something special for us all to enjoy. Athletics, badminton, boxing, cycling, gymnastics, rugby, swimming are the seven contested events. It's competition at the highest level, with a friendly Manx welcome. For the Isle of Man, this is our Olympics. This is your moment to aim, not for the stars, but for the sky beyond. Enjoy the games and good luck to you all. We declare that we will take part in the Commonwealth Youth Games for the honour of our Commonwealth and for the glory of sport. And now, on behalf of Her Majesty the Queen, Lord of Man, Head of the Commonwealth and Patron of the Commonwealth Games Federation, I have great pleasure in declaring the fourth Commonwealth Youth Games open. And open they did, in spectacular style. So this is what's coming up in our final programme. There's action from all seven disciplines with medals awarded in boxing, swimming and athletics and the finals of the Rugby Sevens, plus a look back at some of the highlights from the past few days of competition. The National Sports Centre in Douglas was the setting for the final of the women's javelin. Shanika Yankee achieved her best score on her first throw, 38.08 metres, giving her third place and a first bronze medal of the Games for Dominica. Karis Mansfield of Wales went even better. Times 12.81 in the heats this morning. Reaching 39.18 metres, it was good enough for silver. Gold, though, went to Sunna Whitman of Namibia. She saved her best until last with a distance of 43.25 metres on her final throw of the javelin. And congratulated by Karis Mansfield. In the men's long jump final, England's Elliot Sappho's first attempt was good enough to land him the silver medal, a score of 7 metres 41. And an historic first ever medal for the Turks and Caicos Islands, when Otuanai landed the bronze with 7.15. But it was Angus Gould who snatched gold on his fifth attempt edging out Sappho by 11 centimetres, a distance of 7.52. Okay. 
A good mix of nationalities for the women's 1500 meters final, including Aberdeen of Grenada, Rana of Pakistan, and Mamba of Swaziland. And away they go. It was a three way breakaway at the front. Fionn Price of Wales, the race leader, with Moropi Panagiotu of Cyprus and the Australian Sophie Lin rise on her shoulder and not letting go as they went into the last lap. Further back, Narena Aberdeen and Kiran Rana when contesting fourth place with Nabui Mamba bringing up the rear. But they were some distance behind the leading trio in a race which looked as if it was going all the way to the wire. All three girls confident of a medal at this stage, but who would get what was still very much in the balance. Then the Australian Lynn kicked and made her move, powering past Panagiotu, but did she have enough to make her way past Price? The answer would be no. The Welsh girl having enough in reserve to see off the attack from the Australian. And she would cross the line just over a second ahead of her rival to claim the gold. The first Commonwealth Youth Games victory for Wales on the track. The African contingent were certainly among the favourites for honours in the women's 2,000 metre steeplechase, but they were up against some stiff talent from Australia and Canada. Coming up to the last lap, and it was Nora Jirotu Tanwi of Kenya who'd broken away and looked odds on to secure the gold. Behind her, well, it was not so clear cut as her compatriot Lillian Chemwenu battled away with the Ugandan Nancy Cheptegai. With Kate Spencer of Australia and the Canadian pair of Erdman and Elwyn Descotto seemingly out of the running for medals. No doubting the winner, Nora Jiroto Tanwi of Kenya, easing her way to gold, crossing the finishing line eight seconds ahead of the Ugandan, with Chemweno securing the bronze for Kenya as well. So delight then for Tanwi and Kenya. Onto the women's 100 metres final, and Carolyn Morin Hood of Canada had recorded the fastest time in the semi final, just two hundredths of a second quicker than Heat One winner Sophie Paps. However, it was the English girl who would prevail, powering to the front, while the Canadian was locked in a battle with her compatriot Shina Harrison, who had to settle for bronze. Sophie Paps setting the best time of the day with 11.53 seconds. To hear Walsh had set the fastest time in the semi-finals of the men's 100 metres with Australia's Josh Clark winning the other heat from Chijindu Ujar of England. As expected, it was unbelievably close all the way to the line with Ujar in lane four getting the better of Clark in lane five on this occasion. But it was Walsh who would strike gold, the first ever Commonwealth Youth Games medal won by an athlete from Antigua and Barbuda. Don't go away, there's more action from the Commonwealth Youth Games in the Isle of Man.